Hey everyone. Hello. How's everyone tonight? Oh, thanks for tuning in. I'm I'm super excited for this subject today. I, I you know, those of you who know me um, know that this this these subjects have been my favorite since I was oh, well, since I was very young. Yeah, I was you know, very inspiring. Yeah, we love fantasy creatures, don't we? We love we enjoy dragons. A lot of people love unicorns and now yeah, unicorns seem more popular than ever, right? Yeah, they've always been, but now they're just really everywhere. But, uh, but what are they? Maybe we can look into uh, uh, what they are or what, how they're depicted, and then how, how we can use our photo references to make our drawings even better. So let's see. Here we go. I want to show you some art before we get back into the drawing desk. Come on down. Let's look at. Let's see. Here we go. Hey. Okay. All right, we got some inspiring dragon art here. So we're focused on today the, it, this is called what's the Western dragon. And typically it's a fire breathing creature and has four legs and wings as well. So it can fly. Just having a look at these. The one, um, let's see. Yeah, this one right here. This is one of the earliest depictions of a dragon in, in the medieval manuscripts. So this illustration was kind of the basis for, for many more that came. And you can see right here, we've got, yeah, we've got some art right here. This is, yeah, by Frederick, Frederick Justin Bertuk from the year, let's see, he was born in 1747. So a while back, and he was German. He co-founded the Weimar Princely Free Drawing School. So that's one of his claims to fame. And yeah, he's quite talented, right? Yeah, we enjoy enjoy these depictions very much. I mean, you can you can look at dragon pictures forever, right? There's so they're they're represented so much. You can look up pictures, you can watch movies, and you'll see them. But um, once again, how can we use uh, reference to make our pictures better? And start adding details around the eye because. Yeah, this is, this is an iguana, and iguanas have a lot of these scales on them. And you can have a lot of fun just adding, adding more and more scales and details. So this is the eye. That's where I started. It's a little hard to see its eye in the photo, isn't it? So you can think of it uh, if you know what cat eyes look like, and some reptile eyes look like this. So you can make a, a slit for the pupil of the eye. And there you go. Okay, so I'm going to make its brow next. So give it a brow. And now, again, it's, it's a dragon, so do you want to have like little spikes on it? So you can start adding details like that and little scales and things. How's that? Okay, and I can see it's got some more, uh, more scaly areas. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll make the top of its nose. And then there's, it's, that's going to be its lip, I suppose. And I see a nostril, so we can include a nostril. And by the way, my dragon is going to look a little different from the iguana. Because what we can do is we can, we can look at the original reference and then as we go, we can take our own creative liberties. So you can borrow my ideas as we go if you're drawing along with me. Or you can, you, know, you can try to be as faithful to the original as possible. That's the fun part about, about art. You really can make it, make it what you want. So how do I want to make his mouth? Let's see. I like the way its mouth does this. And its mouth is slightly open, ever so slightly. So since it's very slightly open, what I can do is maybe add some little teeth in there. Maybe even add a large tooth. Yeah, think about it. Think about what details you want. So you could have a large tooth sticking out like that. Now I'll make the other side of its chin and have the face go like that. Now I see also these really cool like frilly things on its uh, on its chin. So if you want, 
what you can do is add those. So add like little, it's like little spikes. See, all these details are really going to make your art even more authentic looking. So you're not s you're not just making it up. You're you're taking what's there and applying. Okay, so there we go. So I got its neck right here. Okay, and the top of its head is here. We can add more horns and things later, for sure. Okay, so over here, I got some. I see some little frilly things. We can put some horns in the back. Yes, now it's starting to look more dragon-like. Sometimes they have giant horns, so if you want to add giant horns, go for it. You know, look if you need to look up a reference, do it. If you're confident and just want to add them, then go for it. So you just go back and forth and instant horn, right? You can even add these kinds of like spikes and stripes on them. There's another horn, there's another horn. See? Okay, now, now I'm looking at the other dragon, like I w oh the, <laughs> the other lizard, and I was thinking, yeah, I like, I really like the position. I like the way its arm is like kind of back. Do you s do you see that on the uh, on the picture there? So how am I going to do this? Let's see. Let's plan ahead. Okay, so its its chest is going to be here, and its arm goes up. Its arm's got to be here. You know, I think this calls for a pencil. You know, you don't have to always stick with the marker. Pencil is much more forgiving, right? Because we can erase. <laughs> okay, so let me sketch this. Okay, I'm going to do very light sketch. Very light. Yeah, if you're not sure of yourself, this is, this is literally sketching. You're just figuring out the position of it. So I'm pretty confident when it comes to uh, making the faces. Okay, and there we go. Now, what about the rest of it? Yeah, we can we can add a little more detail just to show that it has more to its body than just than just this. I mean, yeah, that'd be kind of funny, right? Let's give it like a belly back here. Okay, so his chest is here. So what happens is, shoop, okay, he's gonna have a belly someplace over here. Okay, somewhere over there is belly. So I'll make a little line for his belly. Okay, and then, hmm, the leg. Okay, I'm looking at Mr. Iguana's leg right there. And I think what I'll do is I'll just have this, uh, like, come out a bit. And there's, like, where his knee is. And his foot's sticking out behind him. Yeah, so let's see. Maybe I can make it look like, kind of like the ones in the front. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what I can do. Because... All right, you can make the toes coming out. Maybe he's, it looks like he's climbing some rocks, right? So, oh, maybe you can have a big claw like that. You make a little teardrop shape. And maybe one claw is like sticking up like that. And these claws are going that way. Yeah, see, pay attention to your overlaps when you're, when you're drawing and sketching. Okay. All right. And let's see. Oh, we got room for his tail. Yeah, we got some room for the tail. So in the back there, I want to have a tail. Where, where, where would it be coming from? So we got the body. We know that the, the body's behind this wing here. And maybe the tail goes this way. So you decide where's that tail. And maybe it's going up that way. There we go. And you can put, you can put a lot of little spikes on his tail. Right, because we've got spikes on his head and his neck. More spikes. And we can even add scales. We didn't really do that many scales on. So how would you do scales? Here we go. And if you, if you want, you can even add shadows under it. Depends on, depends on what you're using. Okay. I mean, imagine adding color to this. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have time for that. I really want to get to the other thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so fun. Okay. 
All right, everybody. I think I'll leave it at that. Yeah, success. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick, quick water break because yeah, I've been realizing I've been forgetting to drink water during these classes. Are you adding color to yours? Yeah, we've got, we've got a quick moment for that. Mm. Yeah, Marker, Marker would probably get this done pretty quickly. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll have time for it a little later. But I'll put this aside, and I'd like to get to that other subject.